What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today we have a new image of the new exotic ship which will be the ultimate reward from the enigmatic blueprint rewarded for doing the Oracle sequence within the Whisper Heroic Mission on IO. But before we get to that guys and the new roadmap just released by Bungie, every month I am giving away a fully customizable controller to be in with a chance of winning it, simply drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. More giveaway details at the end of the video people. Okay so last week we had what in my opinion was the best week and the most exciting week since Destiny 2's release. It was a secret discovered on IO which ultimately led to us getting a new version of the Black Spindle, the Whisper of the Worm. A portal was found upon defeating a Taken high value target which spawned in within Iowa's Lost Oasis area when a Taken Blight public event spawned in. The portal led you to a secret mission called Whisper located within the Lost Sector within this Lost Oasis area which had a 20 minute time limit. It was the start of the Black Spindle mystery within the game. But it didn't end there guys. Yeah, once you completed this 20 minute whisper mission, a heroic version became available for you to do on IO's directory. Completing this gave you the Whisper the Worm catalyst, in which for you to complete, you had to go back into the heroic version of the mission and obtain Blighted Essence. Working out what this was led many people to finding chests which weren't in the normal version and many other secrets. This led to also people finding the Oracle Encounter puzzle, which we now know as a set of three sequences of shooting these Oracles. Doing it in the right sequences, you are rewarded the exotic enigmatic blueprint, which is a ship. This requires you to complete the Whisper mission with the following weekly modifiers active, Arc, Solar and Void Singes. The ship itself, we can't actually see what it looks like. The icon is kind of blurred out. But today, we actually can see the icon for the ship. You can see this on screen now. And it, well, it looks kind of familiar. Now, going off the icon, it looks exactly like the Agonarch carve from Destiny 1, just in black. So I'm guessing this is what the ship will look like, people seeing on screen now, edited by me. The ship will be called A Thousand Wings, and here is its law. The de-emerge of the hive is the worm, the de-emerge of the vex is the fort, the de-emerge of the fallen is the ether, which is survival, the de-emerge of the cabal is authority. These are the things, both constraint and power, which divine the universe of possible actions. These are the rule makers and the instruments which enforce reality. Give a power to a guardian and they shall know that power as a weapon, for when a guardian chooses to alter the world, they do so with the bullet and the blade. Grant a guardian godly power, and that guardian shall fashion into the perfect rifle. The de-emerge of the guardian is the gun. But we must remember that de-emerge is not the gun. It is only the thing which converts perfect divine into imperfect material form. We may wield the de-emerge, but if we do, what god wields us? Yulan Tan. Sounds absolutely epic and I'm sure the law folks out there will have a whale of a time going through this. So the ship is called A Thousand Wings, absolutely great. And this is what it should look like upon you receiving it. Okay, so we're going to move on to the newest roadmap Bungie have just released. The 1.2.3 update has been deployed as we know, but a new 2.0.0 update coming on the 28th of August is interesting. Weapon slot changes, milestones and challenge updates, director changes. Heroic story missions, bolt shade deletion, thank you Bungie, 200 more vault space slots, absolutely amazing. So I'm guessing the weapon slot changes we get to experience before the Forsaken DLC, maybe, or maybe they are part of a placeholder update which triggers on September 4th with the Forsaken DLC. Not long left though people, not long left at all, I am super hyped. The September 4th update, the 2.0.0.1. As we know, we get gear collections, in-game triumphs, random weapon rolls, a mod system update, three new Crucible maps, one exclusive to PlayStation owners, new Crucible mode, power matters in both Iron Banner and Trials, in-game lore, and new bounties. Absolutely wicked people, just not long left to go now. I truly hope though with this Forsaken DLC, I know it will be great us having new content to play, new things to chase, but I truly hope we see more of these timed events like we've had with this Black Spindle, Whisper the Worm Exotic. People love these exotics and trying to be Sherlock's and cracking these codes. It's a big thing the Destiny community absolutely loves and are intrigued by. It keeps us wanting more and I truly hope we get more of this kind of thing within the Forsaken DLC. But on that note guys, I am 
out. But before I end the video, every single month people, I am giving away a fully customizable controller for either Xbox or PlayStation sent anywhere in the world. To be in with the chance of winning it, drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel and check out the Gleam link linked at the top of the video description. Fast, simple and legit guys. Good luck everybody who enters. But on that note, I am out and hopefully people, I will see you on that next one. Always in the